Now for the weather, here's Annie Kearney. Thanks, Tam. And it was another hot and sticky day. Probably best enjoyed at the beach and didn't Hastings on Bunurong Country look a treat this morning. And I had to sneak in a second photo tonight just because the surf looked so good. Here are some lucky beachgoers enjoying an early morning dip at Torquay on Wadawurrung Country. It didn't cool off too much overnight. Minimum temperatures were generally 2 to 6 degrees above the January average. It stayed warmest at Mildura where it only dipped to 24 degrees. As well as being a humid day, there were also showers and thunderstorms across the western and central parts of the state and the eastern ranges had some thunderstorms where they were severe with heavy rainfall and damaging wind gusts. Harrietville received the most rain with 27 millimetres. The highest maximum was 39 at Dartmoor and Warrnambool. It was only a few degrees cooler in the city with a maximum of 36 and it's only dipped a few degrees since then. Currently in the city it's 32. It was hot around much of the rest of the country today. Adelaide also enjoying the mid-30s while there are a few showers in Darwin. And across northern Australia and into inland Western Australia, you can see extensive cloud with embedded thunderstorms. A trough over South Australia is moving east and it'll bring showers and widespread thunderstorms, some severe. Darwin is set for a possible storm tomorrow while there'll be showers in Hobart and Adelaide, partly cloudy in Sydney and Brisbane and sunny in the west. Back home and we're expecting more of the same tomorrow with scattered showers more frequent across southwest and central parts in the afternoon and early evening evening. There'll also be isolated thunderstorms with light to moderate northerly winds. On the bays we'll see up to 30 knot winds during the day with waves around a metre. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for heavy rainfall and damaging winds across parts of the state. And with all of this rain and high humidity a warning has also been issued for brown rot. It's staying sticky again tomorrow with a chance of showers. There's also likely to be a thunderstorm in the morning and again at night. Looking deeper into the week, Friday, a bit of the soaking for the garden is on the way with 20 to 40 millimetres possible and it'll drop a few degrees, just staying in the 30s. More rain on Saturday and 25, Sunday 29 and cloudy, still humid on Monday and again on Tuesday, and then a bit of cool relief on the way on Wednesday, Tam, with a top of 23 coming. So hopefully a little bit nicer weather coming for the rest of us who haven't been at the beach all day today. Fingers crossed. Thanks so much, Annie. That's it for this evening's Bulletin. From the news team for the moment, good night.